So no, I didn't kill anybody for these primers. Um, so today we're going to be talking about how to reload primers and three methods in which you can use to reload primers. Also guys, everything in this video is for entertainment and academic purposes only. Um, anything that you do, you do at 100% your own risk. So with that said, let's get into it. Okay, so the first step, take your old primers, dump them out. And then if you're gonna do a lot of them, tumble them. But for this case, I'm just gonna show you how to do it real quick with just a couple uh, by hand. Okay, so this first method is not my favorite, but it works. And it's something that you can do with stuff you probably already have or you could get for super cheap. So the first, we'll need these snap caps. Uh, we'll need some sort of pin to um, pull out the anvil. Um, this is just a thing I printed up to help hold the uh, primers in place. We'll need some scrap gunpowder, uh, a punch to punch out the dimple, and then a hammer obviously to hit the punch. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that how it works. So I have three here that I'm gonna do this on. So um, I'm gonna turn this so hopefully you can get a better angle to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna pop out these, these old hammer, these, so these old anvils, sorry with this pin. Okay, so you'll notice my primer cups are pretty clean. That's because I tumbled all these primers actually um, with anvils in and they actually did a pretty good job. So if if you are just doing a couple just to give this a shot, you'll want to take something and then kind of just scrape it out. Even just the end of the pin, you can kind of scrape it out. But mine are pretty good. Uh, you can especially see on that old Winchester one like they're pretty good. Just so the anvils don't run away, I'm gonna set them to the side. And then I'm gonna take a punch, the size that fits the uh, cup, and I'm just gonna go ahead and, and flatten out the dimples inside. I'm gonna do this one. And I'll do this last one. Okay, so now all those will be flat. I'll show you on this guy. So you can still see the dimple, but if you look on the inside, I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. Um, it's not really focusing, but it's pretty flat in there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these guys, using the same trusty safety pin that we had before, and if it blows up on you, it's no big deal. These aren't really that powerful, and they're really not that scary. So each primer that I'm going to reload is going to use two of these. So I might as well get two out. Okay, so now that we got these guys out, we're going to go ahead and place one on the bottom of each cup. Okay, so now you have one of these. Now these in and of themselves do not have the oomph to a... Uh, to, uh, set off your gunpowder. So what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna put a little bit of gunpowder in each primer cup on its own. So not much, just a little bit. And this is a, a great, like if you have extra gunpowder that's been lying around or something like that, um, that you, uh, maybe from bullets that you've picked up off the range and just pulled because you didn't want to shoot them or something. That's, it's a great use for stuff like that. Okay, and then you're gonna to wanna to take the other one of the things, these snap caps, and put it in top. So essentially what it's gonna be is we have two snap caps with a small layer of powder in between, and then we're gonna replace the anvil. So this is the sketchiest part. This is where if one's gonna blow up, this is where it's gonna do it. So I like to keep my fingers away from it. Okay, and then there's two small for you to really see, but those primers are good to go. So now I'm going to put them into a case. Okay, so I'm going to take the reloaded primer and put it in the spot. Turn this guy up. Eject its old primer. Place the new. So now we have a new reloaded primer in that case. Set it aside. So we're going to test them. I'm going to do it with these other two. Okay, so now we have three cases with our own reloaded primers. And now we're gonna test them out. Okay, so to test them out, we'll be test firing them just in the Springfield Hellcat. And like I said, this is my least favorite primer method, reloading method, so anyway, there's the first one. I'm gonna put it in. 
and then we'll swatch it and that was pretty lame that's why I hate this primer reloading method I've seen it before but I've never been able to get much reliability out of these so just so you know okay here's the second one okay so you didn't see much but I did hear it actually go off and it was probably almost impossible for you to tell a uh, little smoke came out of it there but not much okay so let's try this last one here this is by far my least favorite primer reloading method okay again you didn't hear much that I have found these to not be very reliable and I sh I'm showing it to you just because you know it's something you can do but these are definitely better left for snap caps this is not my favorite primary loading method anyway that said let's show you the second method Okay, the second primary loading method is going to use the same equipment that we used before, punch, hammer, um, all that stuff. But this one's going to be using strike anywhere matches. So this one is definitely more reliable, but still very much not my favorite. So let's get into it. Okay, so I've done the same primer preparation that I showed you on the first one, because that doesn't change. And then you're going to want to take some of these strike anywhere matches. So you can take and finally cut off this tip. Of a few matches. There's one. So we're gonna cut off a few of these. Okay, so once you get a few of these, then you're gonna uh, again wearing your safety glasses and um, maybe even earplugs if you want, just in case these things do blow up. You're gonna want to very gently. Kind of break these up. Okay, so essentially I've kind of ground and mashed it up into this fine dust. Um, so this is what we're going to use to reload these primers this time around. And again, you want just the white top. You don't. You want as little of the green stuff as you can, but they don't put much white on top of it, so you don't get much out of it. So the biggest downside of this reloading method is these strike anywhere matches are ridiculously expensive and hard to find. And I'm only actually going to do two primers this time because, again, this, this method is not my favorite. Maybe I'll only even do one because I'm too lazy to do more than one. Okay, so we're going to put one in here. This corner guy here. Okay, um, I like to use the punch to kind of mash it down a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to take one of these anvils, put it on top, and reload it and test it out. Okay, so I only did the one on this one, so I reloaded it in here. Again, I'm going to take it, put it in the Hellcat. Okay, and then... Okay guys, so those other two methods, it, they're good to know about. So if the apocalypse ever hits and you're like, crap, I have no more primers and you have strike anywhere matches or snap caps, uh, you can go ahead and make some more primers. So that's real nice. But other than that, if you're serious about reloading primers, this third method is the way that you're gonna wanna do it. So I'm gonna do four this time because this method actually doesn't suck. So I already prepared them, already smashed out the dimples. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take this. This is called H48 compound. Whenever you're working with this, you're gonna wanna be super careful with it. For the purposes of YouTube, I don't think they would appreciate it if I showed you how to make this stuff. So you're gonna have to go do some research. Anyway, it's H48 priming compound. Okay, so when playing around with this H48 stuff, I like to use a paintbrush so that way my fingers are never in direct contact with it. Um, this is a little jig that I printed up. I think it's honestly too big. I'm gonna trim it down to only five by uh, five by five because I found I can't really do more than that before uh, in a later step I'll show you my solution dries and the primers become active again. So first we're gonna take some of this H48 compound and normally I just pour a bunch on top of this thing to clear it off. But I'm just gonna put some of it here. It looks chunky, but these chunks will break up pretty easy. See, they're, they're really just powdery. Okay, and I'm gonna fill those primers up to the brim and then I'm gonna just brush the extra off to the side. So that's where the jig's really nice because it just shows you that um, to make a jig on your own, you could just take a really thin piece of wood and drill through it the right, the proper size. Um, or you could print one of these. I'll post one of these on Thingiverse uh, so you guys can print them if you have a printer. Anyway, so there you go. And then I'm gonna take this punch and I'm gonna, I'm gonna push these down. Now you're not gonna wanna go too hard because 
this H48 is active, and if you push super hard or hit it with a hammer, your primer will go off, and that's not in general a good thing. So I'm gonna push this stuff down, push it down, push it down, and then I'm gonna compact my primers. In order to put the anvil back in these without them blowing up and to form that powder into a solid disc, we're gonna make a solution of one part shellac and 10 parts this ethyl alcohol. So I'm gonna take this container, I'm gonna fill it up about a 10th of the way full with this shellac, and I just use this random stick to, to, to stir it and to fill it up, I'm just gonna pull it and fill it up approximately a 10th of the way full. And then, so there, there you go, about a tenth of the way full. And I'm gonna fill the rest up with this ethyl alcohol. And this little solution will go a long ways. This is enough to probably do several hundred primers. Okay, so there you go. So mix this up, get that shellac to dissolve in that alcohol. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shellac solution, and normally I brush all my extra stuff aside, but it's not really that big a deal. I'm going to put a little bit, this is another punch, um, and I'm going to get it damp and push it down pretty hard. Once it's damp, it will, it is completely inert and will not will not activate or anything. So I'm going to push it down, and this is a the, the punch with the dimple on the end. Somebody put in the comments below what the heck it's called. And, and what that is going to do is it's going to, divot it's it's kind of going to divot my powder so the the h48 compound so i can get the anvil back in there okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and you don't want to overdo this just a little dip into your stuff in your solution push into the middle of the primer and then i'm i'm just using the brush so the primers don't jump out of their their little doodads here you don't want to get the brush dirty with this stuff okay so you can see all those primers have now they're they're all moist so now they're completely inert so now you can take their anvils. Okay, and we're just gonna take these, and we're gonna push these anvils back into place. The nice thing about these ones is they are about as effective as commercial primers, and you can see the anvils went in better. Um, just all around, they're better. Uh, and then you're gonna wanna take this, and you're gonna wanna set it in about a room temperature environment for about 24 to 48 hours before they're ready to roll. So these guys, these are reloaded primers here. So I'm gonna put a couple of these in a uh, in some casings and show you how they roll, they, they, how they work. I'll do a couple of these. So here, here are my four reloaded cases. Okay, and here we go. Okay, so that has about the potence of a regular primer. So that is why I like these ones the best, because they tend to do a lot better. Okay, so let's test those other ones. There we go. Boom, nice. Okay, here we go. Number three. That one wasn't much of a bang, but you saw plenty of light. That's plenty to light your uh, your stuff, your, your powder, so you're good to go. Okay, number four. Okay, that was actually the, the lamest one of them all, but still plenty of smoke, <clears throat> plenty of stuff to light your powder, so you're good to go. Okay guys, that last method is by far the most reliable method I have found so far to reload primers. Now a tip, if you're even thinking about getting into this, so this stuff is H48 compound, and you do have to definitely do the rubbing alcohol and shellac solution to make it work out, to form that stuff into a, into a solid disc. Another tip is you're definitely going to want to keep track of when you're reloading. You're going to want to sort your small pistol um, from your small rifle, from your large rifle to your large pistol primer, so you're not accidentally mixing those up. Um, another thing is if you want your primers to be more reliable, you're also going to want to sort it by brand, which now is going to be a pain in the butt because if you're like me, you're usually just picking up a bunch of range brass and you don't pay attention to what primer came in each of it, but that way you'll always get the same anvil and same cup that, that, that match. A lot of what I have here is mix and match, and when I mix and match, I find my reliability goes down to about only 90%, which honestly is extremely frustrating because that means about once per mag, you're going to get a misfire, which is going to make you literally go bananas. So if you want to increase your reliability, you got to sort out your primer cups by brand, size, type, and everything. So that way they're always the same. 
Okay, guys, if you have any other questions or comments on this video and below, or if you've reloaded primers, please put in the comments below. Unlike when I'm talking about reloading bullets, which I've done well over 10,000 reloads, when it comes to reloading primers, I've only done a couple hundred. So I don't have nearly the experience under my belt that I do for uh, reloading bullets. But I figured I'd share with you what I have figured out up to this point. Um, and hopefully it can be helpful in this great primer shortage that we're in right now. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Go vote in your local primaries that have come up this summer. And I'll see you next time.